taste test before I go home. Veggie rolls? You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. So I got a sample from Sephora of this moisturizer right here. It's called Augustinus Bader. I looked it up and it's like a German man that made this moisturizer or whatever. He's like a German scientist and he used the best of the best. But I used this sample as a moisturizer last night and I swear I've never used a better moisturizer in my life. Like my skin felt the way it's never felt before. It looked so good. I literally Googled it because I was like, I'm buying this, I'm sold, I want it right now. And it's literally $180, the regular size, because the size after that is $280. So that's not gonna happen. But if you wanna splurge on yourself, then I highly recommend this one. I swear I've never used a moisturizer as good as this one. It's so good. So it's definitely worth the money, but that's a whole commitment right there. <laughs> like That's so much money I can't. Today's Friday, so happy Friday to me anyway, because you guys are not probably not gonna be watching this on a Friday. So over the past, like, I wanna say a couple of weeks, like not just a couple of days, but a couple of weeks, I have had the weirdest dreams I've ever had. Like usually I don't even dream. Like I can sleep so peacefully and I like, I probably dream like once a week or if I dream I usually forget it and it's like gone but over the past couple weeks I literally have had the weirdest dreams every single night and it's starting to annoy me because I'm just like I don't want to dream anymore like they're not even interesting like they're just annoying and in today's dream I dreamt that there was a horse trying to get into my room you know how like I have the big window well I literally dreamt that there was a horse right there and they were trying to get in and they wasn't even like they couldn't even reach so they were like hanging on by like the wall i don't even know it was like it was trying to get in and i got super scared so i shushed it away closed the window and then i looked downstairs and it got in through the door but you know what i ordered magnesium like supplements or pills or whatever they are magnesium glycinite or something like that i ordered from amazon and it came in i have like i literally have like six amazon packages that i'm going to open today with you guys but i ordered that because i looked it up and magnesium is like one of the best supplements that you should take it affects your sleep it affects anxiety it affects so many things and i ordered it so i'm going to start taking that tonight and hopefully that helps because i'm so over this like not being able to sleep getting anxious before i fall asleep dreaming a bunch of weird shit i want to just go to sleep and just go to sleep you know what i mean shirt from Brandy Melville the other day. I thought this shirt was super cute, but I remembered why I never shop there. The experience of shopping there is never pleasant. Like it's always such a disastrous experience, but this shirt was just like, they just come up with the best like little slogans. Anyways, I'm gonna change cause I'm gonna freeze to death.
Target and there's a Starbucks in there. So I think I'm gonna get a coffee. Starbucks addiction is not back, don't worry. I only have two Nespresso pots left, which is why I'm at Target. I'm not even kidding, the one I make at home is a hundred times better. All of a sudden I became picky or this Goodwill just really really sucked today but I didn't find one single clothing item but I did find this book this is the light we lost it was like all the way tucked into a corner and as soon as I read the title I was like I recognize that for sure two lives two loves one choice oh this is giving me one true loves and I'm not down for that type of paint again. This one was a dollar. It's just this little mason jar and I thought it'd look so cute with my green juice. This was also a dollar. It's just this tiny little glass mug. Whenever I need like an afternoon pick-me-up, I usually just do one espresso shot and I chug that. Um, so this would be so cute. I got this little vase. I thought this would look super cute on my nightstand with like a couple flowers here. That's all I got there. These are all Amazon orders that came in in the past two days. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing with you guys. The amount of plastic for just these two little bags, and that's not even counting the Amazon bag. Like, this was not necessary, but okay. I thought these would be a little bit bigger. First thing I got is this little makeup bag set, and then you could get it with the one for the makeup brushes. The print is so cute. And it's this like, I don't even know, like sweater material. This entire past week, I've been getting TikToks of people recommending these books. Even though the covers look like this is like for a fifth grader, these sound so good. It's basically a series. The first one, I'm pretty sure it's this one. This is the Fantasy League, and it's the Fantasy League series by Meg Reading. All I know is that both of these, I'm pretty sure, are enemies to lovers, and that's all I needed to know to get them, so I'm super excited about these. This is probably the one that I'm most excited about. I finally got the Mindfuck series. I've been hearing about this book and this series since last year. So basically, this is a whole series, and here are all the five books, so this entire book is all five books. There's almost 700 pages, which actually isn't that crazy for a whole series, like for five books. I'm so excited to read this. I got magnesium supplements and I feel like I can't educate you guys well enough to know like what I know when I was ordering these. Right here it says it helps cognitive function, energy production, nerve function, muscle health, bone health, and heart health. This one's not just magnesium, it's magnesium with glycinate and citrate. So I'm gonna start taking these magnesium supplements. I already know what this is and it's not exciting. <laughs> it's scented toilet paper, so it's kind of exciting. you guys what time it is right now because i have been laying in bed on my phone scrolling on tiktok on instagram on youtube on whatever app i could find i've just been scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and not even enjoying it like i'm literally in my mind i'm just thinking like i should really get out of bed i need to go make my coffee i need to go do this but i just keep scrolling and it's a cycle 
of not stopping for like another hour and just hating it the whole time. And I don't know if this is total TMI or if it's actually relatable, but to all the girls out there, tell me if you relate to this or not. A couple days right before I get my period, I literally feel like my entire world is falling apart. It's so annoying, but it literally happens every single month. Like the overthinking, the, you know, not wanting to be productive or not being able to be productive. I don't feel as motivated. Like little things seem like huge things. Since it happens every single month, I notice it more. Like I said, today's Sunday and I was going to go out, but I feel like I need to just get everything situated because the reason why I just feel like everything's chaotic and everything's a mess is because it is. Like my house is a total mess. I literally have like the laundry I was supposed to do on Friday. I didn't do. So now I have like five loads of laundry that I have to do. Today is just going to be a whole day of getting my shit together along with a little bit of a Sunday reset and a Sunday self-care, the whole thing. I'm doing it all. Anyways, happy Sunday. Let's get my life together. currently 9 p.m. I purposely didn't finish my coffee earlier so I would be tired early. Right now it's only 9 p.m. and I feel like I could even go to bed at 10 p.m. Like I just feel like the one thing that I'm like truly truly missing and like the habits that I do and in like you know everything that I do I just feel like my sleep schedule is that one thing that I truly hate because I just feel like I'm constantly just on my phone scrolling and I end up going to bed super late and then that like forces me to be super tired the next day. Especially the past couple days I feel like my addiction to my phone has been so bad so i'm trying to cut that out and actually i feel like i can't even stand my for you page right now because whoever's in charge of my for you page and keeps putting these like super aesthetic like morning routines and like products i can't live without and like amazon products you need in your life and like it's like recommendations that people do i eat that up like there's all of these like skincare products that i want to get because all these people are using it or like the stupid stanley cup that everybody's using all of these products that i feel like everybody on tiktok is using and it makes me want to buy them and i'm like no i literally don't need these i think i'm gonna start this book the mindflex series this literally reminds me of the twilight book i literally feel like that's what i'm reading but i'm gonna start it tonight because i'm in the mood to read something that i know is gonna be good so this should be good <laughs> I was actually about to start editing this vlog but I realized when I was going through the footage that I didn't show you guys what I got at the really cute boutique that I went to on Saturday first thing I got I saw this when I was paying and I was like okay I need this you guys know I'm a Virgo so I had to get this cute little dainty necklace then I got this gray set that I feel like I could wear in so many different ways it comes with these little gray sweatshorts with like this little pocket in the back and then it comes with this gray pullover and then I got this cream jacket this is like a super super thin puffer type of material it's got this like whole little thing going on 
I just think it's so freaking adorable. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I actually really, really enjoyed filming this because it didn't even feel like I was filming anything. Like, I think I filmed Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I filmed a little bit of my days throughout those days. And I honestly really loved just, like, vlogging a little bit each day. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you very, very soon with another vlog. Bye!